come down crushed up. It's the cores, the seeds, the peels, it's the whole thing. Cider gets its color from the skin of the apple. We go through about 80 tons of apples a week. It's kind of cool to do something that your great-great-grandmother and grandfather did. He established the business in 1881. He used a mill down the road and he got pretty famous for his hard cider and vinegar. And then he saved up enough money that in 1898 he bought his own press. My kids are um, sixth generation and my daughter works on the weekend. My son works when he feels like it. He's only nine. It's something that really hasn't changed. It's something that, you know, they've done, they've done growing up and now they can bring their kids to and say, you know, this is what, this is exactly how it was when I was a kid, you know. So I think that's what keeps bringing everybody back is it's something that generation after generation can do.